What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Cessna 182 episode number two. Today's the day we fly this thing home about 600 miles yeah. from California to Arizona. Fingers crossed everything goes as planned. I think it will, but uh, this is a lot of time in the air. Owen, you ready for this? Let's do it, baby. 600 miles. Here's a little map view of where we're going. So we're stopping around Apple Valley, California yeah, to get some so cheap we'll fuel. Stop right there. Perfect, and then over Scottsdale. So one stop and we should make it no problem. I'm excited to see the cruise speeds uh, with this, of course, bigger. If you missed last video, go check it out. But it has some crazy mods like the IO5 2300 horsepower engine. So this thing is an absolute screamer on takeoff. And with the stole kit, it is some incredible performance. So check out the first video if you didn't see it already, but this plane is new to us, but it's performing well so far. And I think uh, we're in good hands today, especially with Owen behind the stick, and hopefully I can help a little bit too. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Without further ado, let's get let's the go GoPro Arizona. going, and let's do our second takeoff and head to Arizona. Before we continue guys, give me a quick moment to give a big shout out and thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. Surfshark helps keep you protected and secure while on the internet through their VPN services. And for those of you who don't already know, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. A VPN basically reroutes your internet connection through a different server provided by the host, which in turn protects your communications and your personal data. And as you would expect, Surfshark has a lot of those servers, 3,200 to be exact, in 95 countries, so you're always covered. A VPN also gives you the ability to access any website whenever and wherever you want. For instance, since that moment when you're trying to stream your favorite movie and it's blocked, a VPN allows you to simply switch your country's server to access it as you please, all while avoiding censorship. Surfshark covers all sorts of devices, so something like your phone can be covered too, which is an absolute necessity for me because my life is on this thing and I'm always on the go, so I need it protected. Support those who support us by checking out Surfshark today using my special link in the description down below. Once you hit that link, you'll find three extra months for free, all for being a JR Aviation viewer. And with that comes a 30-day money back guarantee so there's no risk to try it out. Thanks again to Surfshark for supporting the channel, making videos like this possible. Now without further ado, back to the video. Stop number two, here we go, finals clear. Lights are on, buckled in, doors closed. Time for an update, quite a big headwind, so we're not going super fast, 130 knots right now. Not bad, we'll take it. But Owen just told me to look out my window. I didn't realize we're going by, what is it? Edwards Air Force Base. Edwards Air Force Base. And there were two B-1 bombers and a B-52 parked on the ramp. And a ridiculously long runway. So we are currently in the restricted area of the Edwards complex. We're in R-2515. We got a special clearance through that. As long as we maintain 7,000 feet or above, we're going right through, so it's a nice little shortcut, cool views that you probably don't normally get to see. Right. Uh, so this is a, awesome. Super cool. And we're on our way to uh, Big Bear to get some fuel and a good stopping point, stretch our legs. How far are we out are we? 25 minutes. 25 minutes to go, we'll stop, and uh, it's pretty high altitude, like 6 to 700 foot so we'll runway elevation. Up in the but this, high elevation. Yeah, this shouldn't have a problem. Right now we're just cruising on autopilot. The beauty of the plane, it has an STEC 50 autopilot with... Sierra contact, dash approach 124.55. 2455, 88 Sierra, yeah. Yeah. So Skyline 1388 Sierra, 9500, you can mend our destination to uh, Lima 35, Big Bear. Number 880, Roger, the uh, bomb to off, 73015. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, this has the SX-50 autopilot with GPS steering through the 530, so it's a beauty. I mean, you set it all up oh, and great. bam. Yeah, just plug it right into the uh, 530, it talks directly to it, it takes us right to where we want to go, so it's awesome. 
Perfect, yeah, it just maintains that heading. One, really smooth. Today was a nice day to go flying. Very few bumps. I can't complain. Like, literally, we have a squawk list pulled up for the plane, and, like, there's hardly any on it. One of these knobs is a little hard to turn. Like, really, there's not much at all, and we're multiple hours in. Yeah. Everything's really good. Really good. Obviously, I mean, government maintained plane. They're not going to let, like, broken stuff just fly. They're going to fix it, so we're looking really good. Definitely happy with the purchase so far. Any other interesting notes, Owen? We've been burning under 12 gallons an hour up here, which is super great, uh, uh, super economical. Looks like it's favoring about 11.7 gallons per hour at this setting, which, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, 74 gallons usable, that's, uh, that's a lot of flying. Yeah, so having this digital fuel toolizer really helps us get a good idea exactly what we're burning. It'll help us see if we have any fuel leaks, if we're burning at normally more than we should be, but it's spot on. We'll see when we put fuel in, if it's exactly what it says it is, but I'm sure it probably will be. What do you guys think of the new plane? Definitely by the end of this video, comment down below your thoughts on the 182. Obviously, last video revealing it, I'm sure a lot of you guys had things to say in the comment section, so we don't know what that says as of yet, but I'm sure it's probably pretty positive, because who doesn't like a 182, especially 182 with fuel injection, 300 horsepower, right. short takeoff and landing kit, and a bunch of other stuff. Like, what's not to love? So we'll update you when we're on the ground, add some fuel. Made it to Big Bear, ladies and gentlemen. Fueling up the beast. Never fueled a high wing aircraft, so I've never had to pull out the ladder, but not a problem. The sound of money leaving a bank account. Very, very quickly. <laughs> yeah, very, very quickly. Already Amazing how fast these things go. $40 already. 40 bucks in four seconds, fantastic. All right, keep going, keep going, add some power. Use the brakes, get burning. There you go. Power, more power. We're going to hold the brakes. Work the power in. I'll fine tune the meter. Slowly all the way. All the way. All the way in. All right, release brakes. And okay. keep it center. Center line. Keep your pedals. There we go. Start pulling back. There she goes. Easy. There we go. Right rudder. There you go. Dang, she wants to rip up. Holy crap. Flaps are coming up. You're going to feel it sink. All right. Keep that right rudder in. Look at your ball. Make Keep sure that's centered. Okay. And then when you got a chance, you can use your rudder trim so you don't have to press on the pedal. Uh, right rudder. Or right rudder. Oh yeah, get that ball center. All right, so when the ball's to the right, hit the right get rudder. Right, yeah. Okay. Lower the nose a little bit. Use your trim. Right. There you go. Wonderful. Here's a course. Fly that. We're, it's literally a straight shot to Scottsdale, so just fly straight, hold this heading. Okay, that heading. All right. And you're looking wonderful. When you get a chance, bring it back to 2,500. So twist it back to 25. Keep going, keep going. There you go. We'll climb to uh, 9,500 again. All right, don't have much to go. Or... No, nope, that's the thing. We're, we're already yeah. up high, so it's great. Your heading's perfect. If you just fly this for the next two hours, we'll be in Scottsdale. Heck yeah. So, All right. Dude, this is so Pitch trippy. for 100. This guy's flying. Crazy. I learned a lot in those two minutes. Holy cow. So full disclosure, I am not a flight instructor. I am acting as PIC from the right seat. I am comfortable flying from the right seat. When I sell airplanes, I demo I demo them from the right seat. I flew it from the left seat the first couple of legs just to get familiar with it, make sure there's no issues. Now I'm comfortable sitting here letting Jeffrey fly under my supervision. At any time, I can take over, but so far, he's doing great. So, take me to Scottsdale, Jeffrey. Head ahead for two hours, here we go. Got some sick time in the Bonanza, now you're flying this. How do you think they compare? As From the perspective of a student pilot, Right, okay, so the Bonanza F-33, of course, like a sports car in the sky. It's super snappy, just little inputs will really shift it pretty quick. The so Cirrus was like really four, slow on the yeah. controls. One, three, four, this two, still feels two, three, not bad at all, but the Bonanza, of course, is a whole new level. I really like it so far. In those three minutes, I picked up so many little things that I could have done better on that he quickly corrected me on. I Boom, okay, that the second time I do this, 
It'll be a little better. Third time, a little better. That's, that's the goal. Always be improving. That was literally my first time ever. All right, coming up on 9-5, so be ready to level off. Also, do not go left of course because that's a restricted area right there. So. All right, perfect. We're down the line. This heading, get a little profile set up. I like those mountains instead ahead. Find your sight picture. Keep climbing. You leveled off there. I'm going to give Oak, uh, LA Center a call here once we level off. You're there. Trim yourself out. We'll close your cow flaps. I just realized I was stepping on the rudder there a little yeah, so bit. Use the rudder trim. So trim that out. All right, cow flaps when you get a chance. Out and down. Bring this back to 23. Twist it to 23. You're looking good. 23. Number one, three, eight, eight, zero. We're just off Big Bear level 9500 on our way to Scottsdale, 182 Slangdale. November 13880 Sierra, squawk 7355. 5580 Sierra. You know if you want an autopilot, but you're doing great. Yeah, but we're clicking on a little bit. Yeah, no, you're killing it. Okay, we're dialed in, guys. Trim's good. 9500 feet, 2300 RPM. And of course, because we're this high, the manifold pressures are like 21 inches. Good for, oh crap, 141 knots. We, now I can breathe. But uh, yeah, 26, on this first LA center I definitely like that, but uh, definitely some things I need to work on, obviously. But uh, on takeoff, the yeah, whole eight, eight, six, eight, rudder gets blown right? around when you're taking off. It's just like a little scary because you're accelerating so quickly and you got to do the right rudder inputs. Like, I'm scared I'm like hit the wrong one and veer us off doubly off course. Like, I was a little, a little worried on takeoff. That's why I left up to him a little bit. Veering with your feet is definitely a new concept for a lot of people. Yeah, you just immediately go for this. I know that's not how it works, but just instinctively you go to, oh, let me just turn that to the right. I'll go right. No, right rudder. So that's something I'm going to be eagerly working on. Contact always center 128.15. 2815, 30 guys, we just made it back to HQ here at the hangar. It was a crazy last 30 minutes playing Jenga musical chairs with cars, getting them all like moved out to fit the plane in. But look at that, the plane is in. And look at that, it's Christian. People are probably wondering like, why isn't Christian in the video? Well, the plane only has two seats. <laughs> and hey, we weren't even gonna buy this plane. Owen and I were just hanging out and then like, bam, this deal came up. So kind of unexpected, but Christian, this is your first yeah. time seeing it. So I really don't know about this plane because let alone telling me anything about it. Yeah, I haven't so, told you much other than, hey, we want a 182. Yeah, and I had to explain to the insurance guy and he's asking me questions about it and I'm like yeah it's got this it's got some sort of extra large window on the side of it and this engine upgrade and a stole kit yep 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 by the way the insurance guy loves this plane he's been wanting us to get a 182 for so long so when I told him hey we got a 182 he was like hey you finally listened wow all right so he's super happy about that it wasn't even that expensive to uh, insure he's like dude I'll get you a great quote and sure enough it came in way less than we thought so that's great okay Owen so you and I uh, tackle that landing to get adjusted to these airplanes with the big heavy engine you definitely need a lot of backers which I'm sure you felt yeah fighting that to get the nose up yeah Christian what do you think walk around it like this is it. We've got two doors, unlike the Bonanza. That's kind of nice. We got a nice shaded spot in the hot Arizona sun. Definitely a lot of pros and cons with the high wing. Comment down below if you're a high wing guy or a low wing guy. Especially for our life with all the cars, they fit under. It's as tall as like my head, so it's like what six foot clearance, and all the cars will fit under that. So we can park a ton more cars in here. Visibility looking up for traffic, obviously not as good, but looking down for traffic, it's better. So pros and cons. But here, get in the interior. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It's a big plane. 
Yes, it is a big plane, and we sit really comfortably. It's clean. You can lower these seats. I put it to max low, and it was way too low, so I had to raise it. Dang. Isn't that crazy? So like, you could be like six eight, six nine in this thing. Obviously, you see the interior there. It's fine, but nothing fancy, and that's where Ron Aviation Creations is gonna come in. You guys know they crushed the Bonanza, so I'm excited to uh, let them get to work. That's, that'll be like the first thing. We'll give them these seats ASAP. Oh, and final thoughts, words of wisdom? Yeah, like I said, I think this would be a great platform, you guys. Get your license in, something you fit in, something that will be able to adapt to the density altitude and the heat of uh, Arizona. The Cirrus, not a chance. I mean, yeah. you can't fly it half the year. That, so, that's that's one of the biggest reasons uh, why we had to sell the SR20 for half the year, like you said. It's not usable. Yeah. It's not usable. With three people in it, it just wouldn't climb. It's not meant for 110 degree Arizona. Anywhere else, totally fine. So it's a good plane, but we can't lose half of our flying year because of the heat. So we still have the Bonanza for when we want to go speed this demon mode. I will admit, I do miss the 180 knot cruises that we'd see in the Bonanza all the time. So this isn't gonna be no cross country machine. We got the Bonanza for that, but uh, but for training, I'm so excited for this. Chris, you're gonna love it when we take it up. Thank you guys for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more 182 content, more Bonanza content, more flying content with friends that have cool planes. Oh, and thanks for making this happen last second. Crazy that I'm like, hey, yeah, are you down to go to Arizona instead of back home? And hmm. Reminds me of the SR20. I think we hit you up the day of, got you out of class. You, to go yeah. catch the next flight. Like there's never a time when Owen is not doing something. So glad we caught him today. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Say that it feels right.